So I think really either two of them probably have the, the most to gain outside of Steph. Yeah, I, I was about to say, honestly, the the easiest answer is to say Steph just because of the way the media portrays him. It's mm-hmm. like they already are calling him the greatest point guard ever, which, I mean, that that's a legitimate debate. Like, I feel like that's a legit debate. I the think team. he is. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I've thought about it, and, like, at the end of the day, like, I'm not saying he's the best passer of all time, he's not the best playmaker of all time, but, like, he starts every night at the one, <laughs> like every right, other yeah, point guard does. His position is point guard. Right. And he's the greatest shooter of all time. That shouldn't even be debated, right? He's broken records. He's single-handedly changed the way that teams play basketball. He single-handedly changes the way that teams defend. He changed the way that eight-year-olds play basketball, changed the way people go play pickup, right? Like, he has changed <laughs> the game from so many different levels. Um has the MVPs, has the, the the postseason accolades. He did it before KD. He did it after KD. I don't want to hear that argument either. Like, he's got the finals MVP too now. So, to me, he's the, the best point guard ever, like, just from somebody that started at the position. I would take multiple other guys in front of him as better passers. I take LeBron as a better passer, you know, MJ, mm-hmm. whatever, Jason Kidd, guys like that. But – Solely just like guys who started at the one, Steph has got to be number one. At least in my eyes, he's got to be number one. And I'm not going to take it as crazy if somebody said otherwise, because, again, at the end of the day, if you value some of those other aspects more, or if you want to view being a traditional point guard as somebody who does playmake in that way um, and runs an offense in that type of fashion, then cool, that's your prerogative. But for me, I would have to say Steph is the best to ever do it. And I'm not going to. Like, like I said, it's a legitimate debate. I'm not mm-hmm. going to disagree with anyone that has magic. I'm not going to disagree with anybody that has Steph. I mean, they're two completely different players. All right. Two completely different players. They play the position two completely different ways. Um, I, The one thing I will say, I think personally I still have magic. Um, Like, going back, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to, like, basketball history. Like, I've gone back, I've done a lot of research as far as, like, because I'm curious, like, you hear all the time about they say, oh, yeah, magic did this, Larry did this. Like, I actually wanted to see for myself like what they actually did so going back and like just looking at some of magic's game some of his playoffs performances just like his impact he had on the league even like when he first came in as a rookie with no kareem carrying that team to the finals winning finals mvp playing Mm -hmm. center like that's a ridiculous like accomplishment you know what i'm saying so i think i personally still have magic just because also i don't think people realize steph curry he kind of he started his prime kind of late, if you really think about it. Like, he doesn't really have the same as far as that. As well, for NBAs and all that stuff as some of the other greats and, like, that top 10 players of all time. So I think that's a little bit interesting. I think he will end his career as the best point guard ever. I 100% agree with that. But I think that's, like, for right now, I probably would have Magic a, a little bit ahead of him. So, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely an interesting debate. It's definitely an interesting debate. I, I thought it was crazy how – a lot of people don't think it's even close, though. Like, a lot of people that I've seen, because, you know, this topic came up recently, especially yeah. after that Game 7 performance, a lot of people think that it's, like, it's not even close. Like, he's way better than Magic. He's way ahead of Magic. And I think yeah. that's where we get a little bit of ahead of ourselves. Right. It's like, now we're kind of disrespecting what Magic Magic Johnson has done and accomplished in this league. Because it's not only his play. You were talking about how Steph has changed the game. Mac Johnson literally saved the game. Like he literally saved the NBA. <laughs> NBA was think... on take delay for he pulled up. Exactly. So it's like I don't. I think him hey and Larry. Are... Let me not discredit Larry. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. But I think a lot of people are underrating Magic Johnson's influence and his his importance to the NBA. So I that part I just thought was interesting. How some people think it's not even close. It's not even a debate. Yeah, I, I'll never have issues with people having debates. Like, I'm not I'm not one to, like, really be big on ranking players, like, one through mm-hmm. ten. Like, you got people in the right echelon of tier. Like, that's always going to be cool with me. Mm-hmm. Um, but stuff like that, where it's like, it's not even close. It's like, all right, we're doing a little bit too much. Now. We're not going to discredit the fact that Magic Johnson is undoubtedly one of the greatest players ever to play the game of basketball and had his career cut short. Right. <laughs> like, all- Arguably the greatest offensive engine ever. Exactly. Arguably. So, 